Hello, crafty friends. How are you today? I hope you're having a great day wherever you are and whenever you're watching this. Um, if you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. My name is Jesse, and this is Mislaid Pages. Uh, if you're a returning viewer, you may notice that things are a little different today. Um, you're not seeing my face, you're just seeing my hands. <laughs> Um, I thought I would do something a little different. Um, I haven't done a lot of diamond painting on the channel. I've done a little bit of diamond painting before, but um, but not a ton of stuff. Um, and I thought this time I might actually do a video about how I kit up a diamond painting. Now, to be fair, this is maybe my sixth diamond painting, seventh diamond painting, something like that. Um, I actually just finished um, for uh, hashtag winner with DAC, I finished coffee cup or coffee mug, I forget what it's called. Um, and now I'm gonna kit up, uh, this is called Hamsa White Elephant. Uh, this is also a Diamond Art Club um, canvas. So as you can see, I don't know if you can read that from where you are, but uh, Hamsa White Elephant is the title of this piece. Uh, it is a 32 by 52 centimeter um, canvas uh, from Diamond Art Club. And I've actually had this for a couple of years now, I guess. This is one of the first Diamond Art Club kits that I purchased. Um, <clears throat> I forget, I bought several at the same time and I forget what else I bought, but this was one of the first ones. And I fell in love with this when I saw it on Rachel's channel. Um, she purchased this and completed it for a friend of hers um, that she gave, um, or she gave, it was a friend of hers in the States, I believe. And so um, back in the early days of Rachel's channel, <laughs> when she was uh, when she was doing this painting, I fell in love with it and I purchased it and I'm just now finally getting to it. Um, I actually have, um, I almost, almost decided to kit up where, where the fun never ends, uh, which is an Adventure Time piece, which is massive, um, but I have not done a piece of that magnitude, so I decided to start a little bit smaller, uh, plus I already had this kit unboxed uh, and ready to be kitted, um, plus the canvas is nice and flat because I've had it unboxed for quite a while. So <laughs> uh, without further ado, let's get into some kitting. So um, I have a few things here today. Um, I've got my... These are all my diamonds. If you're used to um, diamond painting kits um, and especially diamond art club kits, you'll recognize all of this. So this has got my round diamonds in it. It's also got one of those nice strips that I'm gonna use to make stickers. And um, parts of this video will be real time with me talking to you. Parts of this video will be sped up with me talking to you. So just, just to uh, <laughs> let you know what's gonna happen going forward. So I've got my diamonds. I have my Xyron sticker maker here, which I'm gonna use with that strip. Um, I'm gonna turn that into stickers. And I've got this handy dandy tray. Um, I got this off of Amazon. It actually comes part of, as, as part of a set of two. This is the smaller of the two. The other one is more like an eight and a half by 11. It's, it's pretty large, um, but this is great size for um, kitting up pieces. I also use this to, um, when I'm actually diamond painting to put my smaller tray into so that if I shake too hard, the, the diamonds fall into the tray and I can easily get them out instead of throwing them all over the table. So <laughs> I have that. And I'll actually be putting my diamonds into my Harbor Freight containers for this one, um, partly because my Harbor Freight containers are were easy to access. Um, I also have the, um, oh, the name escapes me now, but the, uh, the fancier, um, the Darice containers. Um, I have a bunch of those as well, and I thought about putting that, putting this into that, but um, I'm hoping that this won't actually be kitted up for very long. I'm hoping, hoping I'll, I'll finish it relatively quickly. We'll see. Um, but um, but yeah, so rather than putting them in, in the Darice, which I consider like long-term storage for um, larger diamond paintings, I'm gonna use my Harbor Freight containers here. And this has, excuse me, this has 37 colors, so I'm gonna need two trays, not all of them, um, <clears throat> but I will need most of these. And you'll see that I have I have a few bins in here that actually have stickers already. Um, these are colors that will be reused. Um, so these are some leftover colors from my coffee cup um, diamond painting that I just finished. And I checked the, the colors against what I need for Hamsa and I found that there are a couple duplicates. So I'm just gonna reuse the diamonds that came with um, uh, the coffee cup DAC kit along with the diamonds that I got for Hamsa because they're all Diamond Art Club diamonds so they should be fine and uh, I'm going to take these stickers off and put new stickers on um, so that I have the correct symbols and all that sort of stuff. All the rest of the the diamonds that I had been using for coffee cup I've already put into um, other containers for 
uh, for saving, for doing who knows what with. <laughs> Someday I might use them. So these are all the other leftovers from the coffee, the coffee kit. And I just realized that the, the camera is only focused if it's far enough away from you. <laughs> Y'all will have to forgive me if this is a little rough and messy. I'm not used to, um, to filming quite this way. And I'm seeing that there's like tons of shadows. I don't think I have enough light, but anyway, we're going to do the best. This is the first time that I'm doing this. So hopefully you'll forgive me uh, for any faux pas and stuff like that. So, um, but yeah, I only just finally got the right um, connector for my arm, my camera arm, so that I can actually film in the correct angle and still be able to reach everything I need to reach. So I'm super excited. I'm hoping this goes well. So let's get started. We have, and I'm going to just pardon for the crinkling. Okay. Um, let's see. We have all our colors here. And as you see, as you may have noticed, um, this canvas uses a lot of 5200. So we have tons and tons of 5200. So I'm probably going to have to actually find a separate container, maybe use multiple containers for the 5200. Oh, I just realized I'm not actually on camera. <laughs> like I said, pardon me. And I'm actually, I'm going to go ahead and turn Hamsa sideways here so that I can work a little bit more easily. Pardon the Roku remote. <laughs> um, okay, so here we have all of our thingies, all of our diamonds, all the stuff, all the stuff. Okay, so now I'm gonna take my Xyron sticker maker here. I don't know how familiar y'all are with these. They were super popular when I first started diamond painting. I don't know if folks are still using these or not. Um, I still, I think they're super awesome. Um, and this is really easy to use. So there is, is um, a piece here, if I can get the shadows um, to go away long enough. Um, there's an arrow right here that tells you where to put your paper in to make a sticker. And you just put it down in here as um, straight as you can and then there's a piece down here that you pull and as you pull if you don't hold the wrong place underneath <laughs> as you pull and you want to kind of do it slowly as you pull the sticker will come out the other side it's super fun And this is so easy to use. I haven't used it um, a lot lately, just because I haven't been doing anything that requires stickers. Um, but when I do use it, I really enjoy it. And then you just tear off your sticker. It's super, it's super easy, super quick. And you can do it with anything. You can actually, they make, um, Xyron actually has, I believe, a, um, an electric version um, and I know that they have other versions that will do like three and five inches wide so you can get me can make bigger stickers so you don't have to use it just for stuff like this you can actually make any kind of sticker um, or do it you can use it for scrapbooking and things like that and they make both permanent and removable tapes to put in here so as you can see I'm actually just I'm just smoothing this down to make sure that the paper itself is well adhered uh, because in just a second I'm gonna pull off this clear piece and once I do that this just takes off <laughs> as you can see um, so there's a little bit of sticky still on here so anything that was not um, covered by the paper that I had put through there is still sticky on here so that just pulls off the extra sticky and you toss that away away not onto the camera cord anyway <laughs> and now I have my fancy sticker so um, and I've got some scissors over here and we're gonna get underway so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut the schematic sticker off and I am going to put that on the top of my box here that way, if I move on to another project while I'm still working on this one, um, I know exactly what these diamonds go to. It makes it super easy to know what diamonds go with what. Uh, now, unfortunately, I only have the one sticker, so um, I'm just gonna have to know that these two boxes go together. Um, or I can 
maybe get a piece of masking tape or something like that and just put something on there. But I love having the schematic with the picture because that lets me know really quickly um, what kit this is. So I'm going to set that right there. And now I've got all of these little guys. And what I'm going to do here, and I'm probably going to speed this up and uh, not talk while I'm doing it. Maybe I need to get the camera a little bit closer. Hold on just one second. Get you in just a little bit closer to what I'm doing. And let me focus. There we go. I think you can see that better. Okay. <clears throat> So what I'm going to do is make it a little bit easier for myself. So I'm going to go through and just cut these, not all the way, but most of the way. That makes it a little bit easier for peeling these little stickers off. magically have individual little stickers that I can peel off as I need them. Um, now another way you can do this is you can actually use um, an X-Acto knife or utility knife or something like that um, and you can put something underneath um, of this sticker sheet and you can just slice with the X-Acto knife. Um, I find that works really easily as well um, but this was easier for me at the moment so uh, that's how I did that. So now I have my stickers and I've got some boxes right here and I've got more boxes over here and I'm just going to take out my little tray. My tray has uh, cat fur in it because everything in my life has cat fur. When you, when you have cat babies, when you have fur babies, you have fur. That's just how that works. <laughs> okay, try not to get into my light here. I really am going to have to figure out my ring light or something like that because it's, uh, it's just a little too, uh, a little too. Sorry, as I adjust the camera. Okay, let's see. Now, let's start with uh, number one here, which is gonna be 132. So I'm gonna take my box here, and I'm going to peel off my little sticker, and just put that right on the front because this is the side that will face me. As you can see here, um, this is the side that will face me when the, the little uh, containers are in the larger container. So now let me find number 132. Usually these are in number order. Maybe. <laughs> I think 132 might be the ABs. Yes, okay. That's why I couldn't find them. So this uh, kit does come with one set of AB colors, which are these pretty orange, like yellow orange ones. So let me just, sorry, I'm doing so much of this off camera. <laughs> I'm not meaning to. Okay, so I'm just cutting off the 5200s. I'm gonna set those aside. Um, to do something else with. Um, and then I'm going to take my 132 and hopefully other than I based on the size of these packets I think the only ones that are not going to fit in these containers um, you know one packet to a container is going to be the 5200s those whites because there's just way too many of those to go in a single Harbor Freight container, but this looks to be the largest packet other than the 5200, and this obviously fits very nicely. Got lots and lots of room in there. Those are so pretty. So pretty. Okay. So we got color number one. Color number one. Now what I have in here, 
These I'm actually leaving just as they are. So these have the same symbol as the 5200s that are in this kit, but these are white ABs. I don't know if you can kind of see the little sparkly in there. So the reason I'm going to keep these is because in this design here, um, there's a, like one white dot in each eye. I'm going to make those into ABs. And then there's um, some white through here, as well as some white accents in the, um, the elephant's headdress. So um, these white accents in the ears and things like that, as much as possible, I'm going to fill those in with ABs. I'm going to start with the smallest sections um, to use the ABs. So I'll do this circle here, and I'll do the dots in the eyes, and then I'll see, um, I should be able to do these sections in the ears as well, but I don't know about these larger areas, so we'll see. But I'm going to use these ABs since I had them left over from the coffee one. So I'm just going to put these ABs above. I'm just just to show you I'm organized I'm going to organize them by number and I'm just putting the ABs right on top of the the new ABs. So, that's that. Okay. So, next color is going to be 208. 208 is one of my favorite colors. It's a purple. I just have to find it again. I know I saw it. <laughs> okay. So, here's 208. You don't actually have to cut these like I'm cutting them. I just find that it makes it easier for me if I cut the little packet off. I get myself a new container. And peel the sticker. And this is likely the point at which I will start fast forwarding the video <laughs> so that you can see this in fast motion instead of my slow motion. <laughs> I'm reusing these so I'm just going to take this container now I will say you must remember when you're using these containers you must remember to kind of shake them because the the diamonds will get caught up in here up in the top and when you open them they will just fall out everywhere so you need to make sure that you shake them a little bit make sure that the rims are completely empty and then open your container just FYI uh, and right now I'm not opening it all the way I'm just lifting this little tab so I can pull this sticker off So we don't need that sticker anymore. And then carefully set that down so I don't spill the beads everywhere. And get our new sticker, which also just says 310. But, and it's got the same symbol. I love that Diamond Art Club, as much as possible, uses the same symbols for the colors. That way, um, between kits, um, if at all possible, you can actually use the same colors back and forth. Okay, and as you can see, I've got a couple I don't know if you, I've got a couple diamonds in here, so I have to shake those back in and then open up the container.
and forgot to put the number on this box. So, um, which is funny because I was actually going to pause and say, this is a really gorgeous color. It's hard to see, but it's really pretty orange. Like this deep red orange. So sparkly. Yes. Okay. Anyway, let me put the number on here. <laughs> Easier to tell what it is if you put the number on it, surprisingly. story about the numbers on these um, the diamonds for Diamond Art Club they actually use the DMC numbers they're the same as the um, the DMC cotton floss numbers for cross stitching um, and because I had started diamond painting I was starting to get familiar with the colors that are associated with different uh, different DMC numbers and uh, that actually won me a contest, if you can believe it. So um, Stiach last year um, had a big get together. This was obviously, you know, pre-COVID. Um, we had a get together in uh, Durham, North Carolina at the end of the Stiach season. And I actually decided to go. And um, part of the... Um, the get together they had some trivia games and you know just different kinds of little you know guess the number kind of situations and uh m of uh stiach uh m of matt and m she um had actually set up this board that had i don't know 20 or 25 different dmc numbers um or it had the colors it was a board full of colors and you had to guess which dmc numbers went with which color um, she had a cheat sheet that was a list of um of the numbers that could possibly be um in the uh, on the board so it was you know 20 25 colors and she listed the dmc numbers that actually corresponded but you had to you had to match up which numbers went with which color i actually won because i guessed like all of them correctly and it was only because of diamond painting so i just wanted to <laughs> i wanted to let you all know that a fun little bit of trivia now back to the kidding so much kidding <laughs>
all we have is this massive amount of white. <laughs> all the white ever. Let's see. Um, we'll see how much I can fit into one container. So I'm not positive that I'm going to be able to fit an entire bag an entire one of these bags into this container because this is this is a lot of diamonds <laughs> so let's see what we can do here okay I can fit most of a bag I probably could fit the entire bag but I'm not gonna I'm not going to push it because I have plenty of extra containers. Oh, I got some, I got some static. Okay, we're going to need at least four containers for this, <laughs> but that's okay. I could probably use diff a different type of container, but this is going to be the easiest. I probably actually have one of those large Dries containers and it might hold all of these, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to go to the trouble. I think we're fine with just what we've got here. white yeah I'm telling y'all now I'm not going to enjoy these massive sections of white <laughs> when it comes to diamond painting I really prefer confetti uh, confetti is much more interesting to me when I am painting um, now when it comes to cross stitch I, I don't want too much confetti I don't like changing colors a lot um, I like a little bit of color changing just because it gives some interest to the piece and to the project, makes it a little bit more fun to stitch. But uh, if, uh, let's say for instance, if I was stitching this area instead of diamond painting, that would make me a little bit crazy. Um, it's not too bad, but it's pretty confetti heavy. Um, so yeah, <laughs> color changing is the bane of my existence when it comes to cross stitching, but I love color changing when it is diamond painting. Oh no, escape. Okay, there we go. Escape. 10 points to anybody who can name what that quote is from. <laughs> Okay, hopefully we can fit this last bag in here. I think we can. I think there might be just enough space to squish that in there. Yep, just barely. There we go. So many little white diamonds. Okay. And there we have it. So, for this project, we have two bins, two Harbor Freight bins full of beautiful, beautiful diamonds. I'm loving all of the blues in here. There's, I think, three or four different purples, and there's at least as many, if not more, blues. So I am going to love those sections. I am not going to love the white sections as much, but <laughs> it is what it is. We have to, we have to do the work to get to the good parts, right? Okay, so that is it for this guys or folks i should say not guys um that is it for my diamond painting i am all set and ready to go um i may do a whip and chat with this piece or i might try to do a live sometime soon we'll have to see um how the scheduling goes but um 
I am all kitted up and ready to go, so I'll get started on this really soon. Um, possibly quickly after I get done filming this. We'll have to see. <laughs> Um, but anyway, if I do some diamond painting videos, you're very likely to see uh, this come up very soon. And then um, I may actually, I still have um, my kit for um, where the fun never ends. It's still in the box. So I might actually do an unboxing video of that um, as I'm getting it open to start getting the canvas flat. Um, and then I might do a kitting, a kit up video for that as well. So. Be on the lookout for that if you're into diamond painting. If you're not into diamond painting, no worries. Um, I will be back very soon with more of the regular Wooly Wednesdays for knitting and Floss Tube Friday for cross stitch. So never fear, those are not going away. Um, I think I'm just gonna add a few uh, uh, diamond painting videos here and there. So I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, definitely click that little like, but like button. Um, if you wanna see more videos like this or if you wanna see other stuff that I'm crafting, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna be notified anytime that I post anything new, hit that little bell and you'll get a notification every time I post a video. So uh, until next time, folks, remember that um, I have a little bit, <laughs> I have a little thing that I say. Uh, if you're brand new here, you may not know this. Um, but until next time, remember to stay hydrated, make sure to take your meds, and remember that good enough is good enough. And I will see you all next time. <laughs>